Take an idea and use the idea holistically from 360 degrees by 360 degrees. An idea. We were prepared for another exhibition, and there was a moment that we had the works collected in one of the neighborhoods, the La neighborhood. And we worked with four of us through the neighborhood with these huge charcoal paintings. And that was such a beautiful moment because it was so dissonant that at that moment I thought, well, we should not take this art away from this place. Rather, we should bring art to this place. That's roughly the, when it all started. Yeah. I found love, one of those places where the beautiful ones are not yet born. There are no trees. It's as if we, it's as if we said goodbye to nature. Um, what he was talking about so many years ago is also still relevant for uh, current times, not only in Ghana, not only in Africa, but in the entire world. And it's a, it's a work that uh, I think has been mis, uh, misrepresented or even misinterpreted by a lot of people. In The Beautiful Ones Are Not Yet Born is a nation at, at birth, you know, a new nation and then being confronted with issues of, of, right, of corruption, rot and greed, you know, a newborn nation after colonization and then the people find themselves at this point where it's like everything, the system does not work. The beautiful thing about the beautiful ones who have been born is that obviously it's about corruption, corrupt society, it's about filth, it's very filthy, it's very descriptively filthy. But there's also a deeper message, the deeper message being beyond that there are people that strive for a better society in their own small and perhaps even meaningless way but at least they are there and these are the ones that should should become the beautiful ones one day and it, it may not be them but then it must be their children or their children's children but this aspiration that's deeply enshrined in the book and that's what the book brings together with the with the la neighborhood are not yet born a special project is this idea of bringing back the art to the place that inspired it.
So it's really important that the community uh, comes apart. It's, uh, then the artwork does not only reside there as an um, autonomous object, but it's there as a communal object. So we are sharing together, in, the artists make the work, but the community also makes the work. Their participation is important as much as the engagement that the artists also have with them. So it's very important that the community is always involved in not only the making, but also the viewing and the discussion of the work. So it's very important that we, we situate this work in the real community and actually in the open space in the community. So I think art has a very important role to play in the society. The great people in Labadi should come and see what Labadi itself look like, both the arts and the culture. Some could be just be there fishing nicely and everything, but the beach is dirty. So these are the things we talk about first and then we move into the beauty of it. I think that when they see things that are different from what they do every day, they begin to question, you know. And I think that that is the role of art, that you, you get people to think about things that usually they have not thought about, you know. that I'm amazed by how much involvement we've gotten. Obviously it was a very, it was a difficult project also for us because we didn't know what to expect. Um, it's very strange to walk into a neighborhood and to decide, listen, we will put an exhibition out here. But having, I think, eight or nine or even ten artists now from the La neighborhood, it creates quite a, a, a strong interaction. And of course there's it's a very a mix of everything. You have established ones again, very young artists, but this is exactly the learning that should come in. And it's not so much about the individual artwork works either. It's very much about how these artworks come together, and especially how these artworks are going to interact with their environment and how they're going to interact with the people living in that environment. <laughs> I see Ayukuyama as a, some sort of prophet because his work is so prophetic. He, he spoke so long ago on issues that are uh, almost universal. They keep coming back and they keep affecting us day to day. And things concern all of us in the same way. So we cannot say, for example, that the beautiful ones are not yet born. It's only about Africa and the corruption in Africa, but it's something that touches us all as humanity. And that uh, the, the more we realize that it affects us all, the easier it is for us to start uh, healing ourselves. <laughs> Africa, 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 Africa,